Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how are we going to calculate the velocity of the wheels. In the last video we watched the code of a single wheel. In this moment we are going to generate the general code to calculate the velocity of the both wheels and we could see this graphically. So we have the measurements that we need to filter them because it can be used on a controller. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to my videos. It helps me to make videos like this. Okay, in this part, we are going to start a copy and paste all the variables that we used in the last video and we are going to change all these variables that have in the last of the name has the name uh, the letter R uh, we could we are going to change that uh, letter by a L because we are going to generate all the uh, left uh, variables that are the, the variables that are going to move the uh, that are going to measure the movement of the left wheel then you could see that I, I am copy all those variables I am going to duplicate every single variable that have a R we are going to change it by a L variable and we generate uh, both variables the R and the L variable and right, right like this we are going to generate uh, all the copies and then we call measurements all the movement of the left wheel because we have the same variables only that is changing uh, that thing that you are seeing that I am changing in, in this video and that's it, it's too simple only change it uh, the variable that have a R letter in the end we change it by L uh, letter and that's it, it's a copy just like this then we have to copy all the instruction function that we have in the voice setup. We could uh, copy all those function and we change the name of the encoder, the encoder that executes that function, and the name of the function, uh, the interruption function. That is R encoder, in this case is L encoder, and we are going to use the folding, the same instruction folding that we use in the right encoder. Then I copy all the uh, function, interruption function, and I change all the variables that we have. That variables are the, the variable that we use in the last uh, function that we make it for the right wheel and we change all those variables for the left wheel and that's it we could change all the r by a l and that's it it's too simple to change that that function and you could see that there is there is a, any problem that we have any problem to change it that and and we we have right now the function that we are that going to calculate the velocity of the left wheel in this part in the boil loop we have to copy some instructions the first one is the instruction that is actualizing in every time uh, in this part is only changed by the l wheel uh, uh, the l letter uh, in the end and that's it i only copied that the first instruction and the second one second one instruction is is the pwm signal that we are going to send it and we have to write it to for move uh, the 
the motor that we have. In this part, change it by this motor and we are going to graph, uh, to make a graph with the signal that comes from the color and we have to copy that uh, serial print and we are going to uh, we are going to graph uh, to graph uh, something like the frequency of the right wheel and the frequency of the left wheel you could see that i eliminate uh, the instruction l and instruction and that's it i program this this example i program this code over the arduino i change the the name because this is a program that works with the two wheel the both wheels it's different than the last one and uh, i could save it and i load that code to my arduino i have a problem like this um, only i have uh, something that i have to correct I wrote uh, something bad that that are that I don't eliminate uh, was generating that error. But that's it. That was the the wrong thing that I that I had, and and that that is the way is working right now. Uh, is unloaded the program and I could change the PWN of the motors then I could unload it right now the program and the motors moves according that the we are that we expect and you could see if we open the the graph of the Arduino you could see the graph that is making our encoder in this graph you could change it in, and you could use it the the other PWN signal of the other motor and you could watch if this motor moves according we expect we could see that and and I have a problem like this because the the two graphs that we are watching are good but you could see that some graph is is going faster than the other one is a problem that I really don't understand because that was working for me and, and I ever I ever have this problem before and I really don't know what happens that is strange but don't worry because uh, you could see that the signals uh, have a lot a lot of noise in it that noise we have to filter them it, this noise is, is not allowed for our controller so we have to uh, use uh, uh, we have to make a filter that eliminates that, that uh, noise and we could use in in other uh, in the in the next video we are going to generate uh, a filter and that filters makes that this noise uh, uh, disappears and in this program the the graph going to goings in the in the graph in that signals goings in, in the graph we are going to parallel uh, we don't have uh, any signal that goes faster than the other one is is a mistake uh, it's a big mistake that i really don't understand in this problem what happens because it has to work according that that the program that i made if you find this error you could send me in the comment because I really don't find what are my I really don't found what are the problem what, what are the problems that I'm making 
so I really want if you if you could help me if you could uh, tell me what what is the problem that I am going uh, that I am making in this video and thank you very much that is that is the program that I really that we want to achieve in this video and it really don't work like I, I expect bad. But that's it. That's it. That are the measurements. And the measurements are good enough to use it in the next video. And like I said, in the next video we are going to, we are going to filter that signals. And the signals works perfectly in, in that video. So thank you very much. Thank you for uh, you watch my videos and if you really like it, please share, like and subscribe to my channel and, and activate the bell. Bye bye. Thank you very much. And we, and we are going to see, see you in the next video. Bye bye.